All right, what we want to be is out of cycle. So, your stop cycle button right here should be red. Then you want to go over here and you want to start up your pump. So you can do that by simply toggling on this switch right here. Then you're going to wait for one hour, at, le at least one hour. After one hour, you want to go to the maintenance screen and we want to read this number right here. Roughing pressure in Militor. Right now we're at 480. We want you to record that number and send us back an email and let us know what the pressure is on the roughing line. That's all you need to do. This is your vacuum booster right here. Between the vacuum booster and the roughing pump, you have an inlet port or an exhaust port. This is where you want to hook up your leak detector. You also have an isolation valve on it. Make sure this is closed before you hook it up. And when you're ready to do your leak detection, then you can crack your valve open to connect it to your leak detector. Always remember though, before you change your cycle, go out of cycle, you want to shut this valve back down. Right now I'm showing you where to check your seal for your gas man cool shaft. There is a vent on the side of this motor. If you spray your helium in here, it, uh, it will uh, be on the uh, atmosphere side of the seal. If you get a leak after sp spraying the helium here, then you've got a bad seal on your gas fan cool shaft. All right. On top of the furnace right here, you're going to want to check your three power feed throughs and you're want to, going to want to check the penetration for the control and over temp thermocouples. This fitting right here and this fitting right here. Make sure you don't have a leak on these water lines. You're spraying right around this area right here and right in here. Same with this one. You're spraying around the shaft and you're spraying around the seal on the outside. On your power feed throughs, you want to check both here on all four sides and here on this where this plate meets the flange on all four sides. Make sure you only spray a small amount of helium. Same here, you want to check up here, here, and here, all, all around it. Then you can come check your mechanical relief valve. Check around your, vac, uh, your high back cylinder, around your O-ring here, around this O-ring, around this O-ring. We need to check each of these seals and this threaded fitting right here. Make sure you check your threaded fittings for all of these fittings. Around this O-ring right here and around these ductor seals. You only have one on this one right here. But you should check these blank offs as well. We need to, further, we need to check all around the door seal. Very important when you're doing this, you only want to spray a very small amount of helium. If you spray too much, you're going to flood the area with helium and you will not be able to isolate if you have a leak where that leak is. All right, other places to check. Check on both sides of all your butterfly valves. Check this O-ring right here. Check your up here. On your chamber release valve. Check right here on the backfill valve. And check this fitting. Check all around in here. That's about it.